Yo, it's the Fields Bros. Uh, this is going to be part two of Let's Talk Attack on Titan. So let's get right into it. Uh, last time we were, we were talking about uh, the cadets mainly and about among those people, which of the cadets may or may not be a Titan or not. Um, recently in season two, we've actually just learned that Ymir is a Titan, which is, you know, pretty shocking. So I thought it'd be a good time to break down exactly how I go about uh, establishing a certain character's innocence or guilt. Now I've, now I've said in the past that this is a series that does an excellent job of, of hiding uh, the intents of certain characters. But what you can look at is uh, internal monologues that certain characters have. For example, uh, Aaron or Armin or Mikasa, uh, in any scene where they're... Uh, where you're, as, as the viewer, you're allowed to, you know, hear their thoughts and what they're thinking in their head. Uh, there's a lot of characters where you never get scenes like that. Like, you know, Ymir, for example. We just learned that she was a Titan. Or Annie, for example. Uh, in season one, like, there were never any scenes of, you know, internal monologues where you could hear her thoughts, you know, in her head, what she's really thinking. Instead, uh, all you got to see was, you know, what she actually said out loud, you know, for everybody to hear. And this is also the third Titan shifter that's been uh, a cadet that's turned out to be uh, a person who was in the cadet corps. So even though it's, it wasn't the armored or the colossal Titan that was revealed, uh, it was a brand new Titan that wasn't uh, shown in season one with Ymir. Um, it's still possible that the the armored titan or the colossal titan are in the cadet class um and like i was talking about the internal monologues like there's no internal monologues for reiner or bear told you never really get to see any of their thoughts however in john's case there is in connie's case uh, i believe there is so when you look at it like that there's really not many uh choices for you know if you're going to say the armored titan or the giant titan is in the cadets that really doesn't leave a whole lot of suspects left after all like i've said every titan that has turned out uh, that has been revealed has turned out to be a cadet so yeah basically in other words if uh if there's a ser if a series wants to hide the intent of a given character they're not going to have any any scenes where you can actually you know hear what they're thinking inside of their heads that would obviously give it away while at the same time characters who you get those for you know you, you can take those as being true because it's their own thoughts and come to think of it while we're talking about ymir i actually learned a little more about ymir as a character um uh many of you may not know but there's actually a bonus episode uh for season one of attack on titan there's a, a few of these episodes but uh, in terms of the timeline where it would fit in, it would it would be I be, like episode three, in between episodes three and four. Anyways, there was a scene where it showed uh, another cadet. I believe her name was uh, Lise or something like that. Um, she was stranded out in the field and a Titan approached her and uh, addressed her as Ymir. But a random Titan uh, spoke to her and she was out and she was like, uh, writing uh, a journal of everything that was, you know, happening to her while she was out in the field all by herself. But yeah, a Titan actually spoke to her, uh, addressing her as Ymir. And later, uh, Hanji actually got a hold of this notebook. So she read this notebook, and obviously Ymir's name is going to be in this notebook. And jumped forward to real time now, Ymir just transformed into a Titan. So, Ymir definitely has some things, you know, to answer at this point. There's a lot of questions surrounding the language that she's aware of that could be decades old. The fact that the Titan that spoke her name to a random scout could have been, like, who knows how many decades that Titan's been, you know, stuck like that, like which raises the question of, of Ymir's age, even though she looks young. So 
Ymir is a pretty uh, strange character right now. Um, more mystery than answers, for sure. But yeah, th those are just some things I felt I needed to add to the first part of the Let's Talk Attack on Titan because we were talking about, you know, the cadets in general. And aside from Ymir turning into a Titan recently uh, and the, the pastor talking about Krista's name, uh, saying that she's a person of importance, in this matter. So, uh, thanks for checking out the videos, the field bros, uh, take it easy.